Hey everyone, this is Rohit, currently a software engineer at PayPal and in this video, I'm going to share my personal experience with interviewing with Atlassian. The like target of this video is 20 likes, so smash the like button. I will be sharing a free PDF of the list of resources you can use for interview prep for free. In exchange, all I request to you is to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This link would be active for 7 days only from the date of releasing this video. If you don't know about the company Atlassian, it is the company which made Jira, Bitbucket, Confluence and this and is one of the companies with best work-life balance and also offers permanent remote to all its employees. The salary for an entry-level engineer can be up to 35 lakhs and a person with 3 years or above above can get up to 60 lakhs. So let's talk about how did I get this interview. While I was on notice period with my previous company, I tried to cold email a couple of recruiters and Atlassian was one of them. So I got an email reply back from the Atlassian recruiter and that was how I got my interview. My background at the time of the interview was I was a software engineer at Veritas with 1.5 years of experience and I was from Deva Patel College of Engineering. So let's dive in into the interview experience. Round zero. So I got a call from the recruiter regarding the interview process and note that Atlassian did not ask me about my previous compensation in the first recruiter call. At that time, I did not know much about and the recruiter told me about how many rounds they were and what type of questions would be asked in each of those rounds. And I also noticed that this was one of the friendliest experience I had with the recruiter. Round 1. Now this round was a technical round where I had 1 hour and the recruiter asked me a question on rate limiter implementation. Here I just wanted to make a side note that Atlassian interviews are based on how you think and implement code rather than the solution itself. They care about the journey and not the end goal. Most of the times the best advice I can give anyone who wants to prepare for Atlassian is to go through their career portal and see the preparation advice they have given. Most of the times companies tend to tell candidates what they are trying to look for in each candidate. They during the interview. I will share the link in the description for those who want to see how it looks like. So back to the interview experience. So after receiving a question, I ask a couple of follow up questions back to the recruiter to understand the scope of the problem and then started to implement using the TDD approach. The reason I went with this is that Atlassian follows TDD approach and they want to prefer this as there are many advantages of using this TDD approach as well. For those who don't know what is TDD, it is called test driven development. You can check it on YouTube for more information. After completing the implementation of the problem, so I asked a couple of questions to the interviewer regarding Atlassian as a company. If you have watched the video till here, I'm sure you will like my other videos. So do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such content. So round two was a data structures and algorithm round. This round, I was asked a coding question. It was a question based on interval. The difficulty was anywhere from easy to medium, where again, the approach of the problem was key area of focus. I was a little slow to implement the code as in my mind, I thought the interviewer was looking for a TDD approach. However, at the end of the interview, the interviewer said that a working code was what he was looking for. And I felt that I was going to fail this interview, however I did. The recruiter said that I did well for this interview regardless. So maybe my approach and mindset was what helped me to clear this round. Round 3. System Design Round Yes, now even P3 role, uh, which is an equivalent of SD1, will also have a system design round and these rounds are really subjective. Now, as a junior engineer, I had no experience in system design whatsoever. The interviewer asked me a question to design a web server which has a website to select a color. This statement sounds simple. However, I did a couple of mistakes and I tried. However, I over-engineered and gave a super complicated answer like I will use microservices, I'll use, I'll use load balancers where I forget the foundational questions which I should ask the interviewer viewer like how many users are going to use it and how they will use the system which, which completely changes the question in my scenario and I got to know this at the end of the interview and the interview also asked me in which scenarios I would use SQL and no SQL which is which is a common interview question for system design which I felt I could not convince the recruiter I was comfortable with no SQL database more so I just said that I would I would use no SQL databases and the interviewer was looking forward to use a SQL databases I think mainly he was thinking mainly how acid properties can help me to handle congruency problems that can be there while updating the color. Anyways, the interviewer was from Australia and this was my first international interview so I was feeling really nervous that time. Now there was a final round of interview left for Atlassian behavioral round which is something like an Amazon leadership interview. However, I got a call from the recruiter stating that I failed the system design round and the feedback was over engineering. So I felt the same way and I could have asked simple questions in the first 
couple of minutes to get understanding of the requirement first. So let me share what I've learned from this Atlassian interview for P3 role. One is always ask interviewer questions if you feel the problem statement is ambiguous. And a lot of times the interviewers will give you ambiguous questions and keep quiet. This is the time to ask questions to the interviewer and then proceed with the solution that comes to your mind. Comment down below if you have experienced these types of interviewers before. Second is give your best for each round of the interview, even when you feel that the previous interview did not go well. However, the interviewers are trained not to show what they actually feel. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.